Hello, welcome to this lesson where we are looking at uh, mean, variance, and standard deviation of ungrouped data. This is statistics, okay? So we want to see how we can calculate mean, uh, variance, and standard deviation of ungrouped data. So what we mean by ungrouped data is this kind of uh, data because as opposed to ungrouped data, we also have uh, grouped data where we have frequency, okay? Where we have frequency. So in this case, this is what we call ungrouped data. So without wasting time, the formulas are listed here. The formula for finding the mean of ungrouped data, variance of ungrouped data, we can either use this formula or this one. I don't know, maybe we should try both to see if we're going to get the same answer. Variance, I mean standard deviation, we just need to put this whole thing under a root or whatever we're going to get as variance that must give us standard deviation. It is as simple as that. Okay, so let's begin the process. Let's begin the process. Let us begin the process. Um, so, for the first one, we need to find mean. The formula for mean is summation of x. Okay. These uh, values are represented by x, so it means we need to add all of them. That is what it means by summation. We need to add all of them. So we can begin. When we add, this is going to give us 5. Uh, this is also going to give us 5 plus 5, 10, plus another 10, we're going to get what? 20. Okay. We are getting x bar is our mean. x bar is our mean. This is x bar over number of these values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We divide by 5. What do we get? We are getting 4. So 4 is our mean. 4 is our mean in this case. All right. So now we need to proceed. We need to proceed and get the value of. Okay, so this is uh, our mean, okay? So our questions are here. I'm going to do this one with you. As you know that our channel provides an exercise after each and every presentation. So you are going to do the second one, all right? That is what our channel is here for. We are providing lessons to people that are preparing for their exams, Examinations Council of Zambia, from grade 8 up to 12, okay? So this is what we are here for. So we take it as a classroom setup where we give, we do administer an exercise at the end of each lesson. So I'll do this one, then you do the second one. So we have to come to the second one, which is variance now. So I don't know if we should try both formulas. Um, maybe just to save time, we can use one of them. I don't know which one, but we should be able to get the same answer. So let's try this one, okay? Oh, so summation of this summation of. So we, which one is the better way? Okay, let's try both. Let's try both. I want us to try both so that we know what is expected of us. So for the first one, I'm going to come up with a table for X. Then here we're going to have x minus x bar, okay? Then at the end here, I'm going to have, I'm dealing with the first part, okay? I'm dealing with the first table, I mean the first formula, because this is summation of. So meaning we need to add whatever is going to be here. We need to add whatever is going to be here. That is what we're going to have. So our x here, for the first one, it's 2, okay? So 2 minus, 2 minus our mean, please follow me. 2 minus our mean, that means 2 minus 4. What do we get? We get negative 2, all right? So then, this, which is this expression here? We need to square this one. When we square this one, what do we get? We get 4. I come to the second one, which is 3. 3 minus 4, what are we getting? We are getting negative 1. Negative 1, when we square it, we're getting 1. I'm trying, I'm using the second formula. Then we go to 4. 
4 minus 4, what are we getting? 0. 0 squared, it will be 0. Then we have 5. 5 minus 4, what are we getting? 1. Which is this mean here? Our mean is 4. That's why we are subtracting everything by 4. Then this is going to be 1. Then 6 minus 4. 6 minus 4 here. What are we getting? 6 minus 4, we are getting 2. When you square this one, we are getting 4. So what do we want in the formula? When you look at our formula, we are talking about summation. Summation of what? X minus X bar, which is mean. Squared. So this is what? Summation of X minus X bar. Oh, sorry, sorry. X minus X bar squared. Summation. So we need to add all these ones here. What are we getting? This is going to give us 10. This is going to give us 10. Are we together? So we need now, we are trying to use this one, this formula, to get the value of variance. So what are we going to get? This formula, if I can find variance just right here, this is equals to the summation, which is this part, we have found it here. We have added everything. What did we get? We got 10. Okay? We got 10. Are we together? Then the number. What is the number? Of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Over 5. So what are we getting? Our variance is 2. Our variance is 2. Okay? That is when we use this formula. When we use this formula. Are we together? We are getting the variance of 2. Now our job is to try and examine if we will use the second formula if we are going to get 2. So let's try that. Let's try that. Let's try. So you are going to pick one formula which is going to be easier for you. I'm going to pick one formula which is going to be easier for you. So you look at what is given. So in the second formula, what are we given? X squared. Summation of X squared. Summation of X squared. Meaning, the sum of... These are the X-like values. So the sum of X squared. Meaning, we need to say 2 squared plus 3 squared plus... 4 squared, okay, plus 5 squared, plus 6 squared, okay? Are you getting what, this is what it means, the summation of this, over the number, how many are they? They are 5, minus here, take note, there's a minus here, what is our minus? I mean, minus x bar squared, our x bar squared is this one, which is the mean, so, we have 16, or maybe I should write it as 4 squared, okay? So we can work out this part. What are we getting? We're getting 4, 9, plus 16, plus 25, plus uh, 36, okay? Over 5, minus 16 here. Are we together? So we can add this side. So let's try and add to see what we are going to get. Uh, I'm trying to simplify it. Uh, this is going to give me 20. 20 plus... Um, 4 plus 25 plus 25 plus uh, 40 over 5 is equals to oh minus 16 what have i done here i'm just trying to simplify it where is this 40 coming from 36 plus 4 are we together that is what give, gave me this 40 then 9 plus 16 gave me this 25 and this 25 is already here so when we add this what do we get we are getting what are we getting we get uh, we are getting 90. 90 divided by 5 minus 
16. Okay? Uh, we know that 5 into 9, it's 1. Remainder, 4. 5 into... Um, 5 into... 40, it's 8. Minus 16. What are we getting? We are also getting 2. So, just like I said, you can choose which one of this formula is easier for you. Okay? As you have seen clearly, both formulas gave us 2. So the next thing that we are supposed to do is to find standard deviation. And I said to find standard deviation, as you can see, the formula is you need to find the square root of variance. And on both questions, we got that the variance is 2. So what is the square root of 2? What is the square root of 2? Of course, we know it's going to be 1 point. Uh, so what is the square root of 2? We can try to use our calculator. What is our square root of 2? Uh, square root of 2. We are getting 1.4144. On, on, on. So when we round off, we want to round off these two, three significant figures we are going to have. Standard deviation is equal to 1.41. Correct? To three significant figures. That is all about the var mean, variance, and standard deviation of ungrouped data. Okay? You should can also use the, 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 you can test the two formulas to see if you are going to get the same answer. And uh, having done this one together, you can try this one. Alright? Goodbye. Until next time. Make sure don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Okay? Because we are presenting the next two lessons that I'm presenting on statistics. We are drawing questions from the first paper where we're going to look at uh, the percentiles, the quartiles, the mean, the standard deviation of grouped data, variance, mean, and the standard deviation of grouped data. So please make sure that you watch the next two lessons where we're going to be discussing statistics. All right? Thank you very much.